You are the face of privilege. Welcome to the Dum Dum News Channel. I'm your host, Dum Dum. Today, we're going to go over some of the things that are happening in the school systems around the United States. Before I get started, I want to say a special thanks to all the viewers and the people leaving comments to keep them coming. We had a few more subscribers, so the subscriber counter goes up. If you're new to the channel, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and leaving your comments below. On the screen, we have an article. It says, it's only going to get more crazy. Mayor of Miami Beach says, spring breakers have forgotten there's a pandemic amid fears UK variant is spreading across the US. No, I don't think they've forgotten that there's a pandemic. They just want to get out and party. They've been locked up for an entire year and now the summer's rolling around and it's time to get out and enjoy life a little bit. Your charts show that the numbers are going down. Well, just be safe and be responsible while you're out there partying. We're going to watch a video of a school teacher who is slamming the school board. This is out of Virginia. Then we're going to discuss it in the article. And remember, links to all the sources will be in the description. Hi, I'm a teacher speaking on behalf of every fed up teacher in this nation. This school district continues to show up on national news and it is absolutely embarrassing to see what once used to be the nation's leading uh, school district has desecrated to. This school district is upon almost every single school district in the nation that continues to force teachers through mandatory training where we are told to examine our whiteness, white privilege, white supremacy, microaggressions upon every other thing that is absolutely stupid and racist. Now, the same school district wants to threaten to fire teachers who do not agree with a critical race theory. You are the face of privilege. You do not speak for us if you do not work with us. If you keep up this racist insanity, you will have successfully stripped us of every ounce of love of teaching. And so far, you have succeeded in doing that. Keep this up and you will lose all of your teachers at the same rate that you have been losing these incredible families who some of you fall asleep when they're trying to get your attention. God bless. Can you imagine you're understaffed, underpaid, you have mandatory training coming from a school board who doesn't even work with you and they make a lot more money than you do and it's about wafers and checking your supremacy and privilege i mean come on people why is everyone think that everyone had these microaggressions most people the majority of people are raised to be good people compassionate people that have values and morals and to treat others with respect and dignity this is just horrible and she really lets him have it especially at the end when she says that they were falling asleep when families are trying to get their attention my goodness this next article says exclusive anti-racist zoom seminars asked to reflect whether they are white supremacist and their children told whiteheads are dangerous places for black people parents fury at lessons in wokeness but who are too terrified to speak out Parents say they've been overwhelmed by education reformers seeking to impose anti-racist agendas on America's schools. The stuff is intense, one mother told DailyMail.com. They told us the most dangerous place for a black person to live is in a white person's imagination. A New York City high school principal sent parents a survey asking them to reflect where they land on a scale from white supremacists to white abolitionists. Public school parents Carrie Anna and Abba, Michigan, said, This whole woke movement is horrible for society. Everyone's open to be receptive of things, but they're jamming it down our throats in the worst way, they added. Many parents say they believe the education reform is well-intentioned, but often rushed, condescending, insulting, and poorly timed. The woke movement in education has ignited passions on all sides, with some on the right denouncing diversity plans of Marxist and leftist indoctrination. Parents are afraid to speak out. One father from Maryland said, they don't feel like they can fight this. They're afraid of being canceled, being called a racist. Well guys, as you can see, even parents are pretty much fed up with this. Again, they are being forced to let their children be taught this stuff and they are as well being asked about their own white supremacists or abolitionists. It's just crazy nonsense if you ask me. I think this is just so bad for everyone. And like they said, they're just jamming it down everyone's throat. I mean, who are they to do this? 
to be quite honest, who makes the decision that this is okay? And why don't parents have the right to check off on this or not check off on this? I think that's why private schools are starting to grow and more and more people are looking for alternatives like homeschooling as well. Well, what are your comments? Leave them down below. And finally, I want to show you one more image. This image here sums up what critical risk theory is. You see a big woman over on the right, looks very, very angry. And one of her boys says, all white people are racist. And right under that, it has her PayPal account. Oh my goodness, this is so crazy. And the audience is full of white people. Oh man, for the Dum Dum News Channel, I'm Dum Dum.